Welcome back to another Java video programming. In the last couple, in the last video, we took a look at getting input. In this video, we're going to take a look at using getting user input. We're actually going to declare a new type of uh, what we call a primitive data type, and we're going to learn about casting and why that is important. So let's go ahead and create a new project, and we're going to call this one average testing. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the average of uh, three numbers here. So we can go ahead and close this and of course we need that class and we're just going to call that class average testing and we can call it whatever uh, we want so we're going to go ahead and double click on this and we can get into coding and we're going to do what we've done just in every other video really get rid of all this you know pre uh, code because we need to know what we're doing now because we're getting the user input remember we need to import the Java utility and the specific one we are importing, of course, is the scanner that will allow us to use um, to get input. Now that needs to go inside our main method. So that's going to be public static void main. And then we, of course, have string args, the brackets. We close our parentheses. We open our curly bracket and boom, we have our method. Hopefully you're becoming more comfortable with that. Now, what we need to do here is we're going to need to do scanner, and I'm going to use this OBJ for this object, and that's going to be new scanner, and that's going to be system.in, and put my semicolon, and then we're good to go. So that allows us to say, hey, we're gathering input from the user, but we need to store that input into some variables. So we're going to do an integer variable. I'm going to call it score one. I'm going to call another one score two and another one score three. Now in a later video, because we have the same type of variable here, we could use a one dimensional array, but we need to work up to that. We're not ready for that yet. And there's only three here. Now what we want to do is we said we want to get the average. This is a new data type we're going to be doing, which is double. What this is allow us, what this will allow us to do is it'll allow us to get a decimal. For example, 3.14, that would have to be a double. And I'm simply going to call it average. Now we need to get the input from the user. So we're going to go with what we've always gone with system out dot print line which is ln and we'll simply tell them go ahead and enter score one don't forget your semicolon now in the last video we took a look at getting the input of a string and also an integer and remember for this one we're going to do this obj which refers to the scanner and then to actually store it we're going to do next int open your parentheses put a semicolon and you're good to go. If you do not put these parentheses here, you're gonna get an error. So make sure you put those parentheses and remember Java is case sensitive. Now something you may be very tempted to do is copy and paste the code and just change it to score two. I would highly discourage that if you are starting out because typing it and getting, you know, how to, you know, output something and storing that uh, variable that will uh, get easier the more you type something. Of course, anything you do more, you know, over and over is gonna be uh, easier anytime you practice uh, something. So all we're gonna do is the same thing this time. We're having them enter score two. We're storing it in the score two variable. And then one more time, we're going to do it, have them enter score three. And then of course we're gonna score, store, <laughs> score three and you want to spell things uh, correctly all right here we go now here's what we want to do if in I think everybody knows how to get uh, average hopefully if you don't that's okay so here's what we're gonna do average equals and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do score one plus score two plus score uh, three divided by three. And I want to talk about something that I just said, um, which is not something we should be saying. 
I just said average equals. An equal sign would indicate that it's a formula, which um, it isn't. And when you're looking at this, you're like, well, yes, of course, that's a formula. But how we really should be reading this is average becomes. When you see the equal sign, that literally means becomes. Average becomes. What does it become? It becomes the sum of score one, score two, and score three. Then it becomes the quotient of dividing that sum by three. So when you see this equal sign, we need to get move away from the fact that it's like equaling something. That, that's not necessarily true. It means becomes. We need to be reading that equal sign as becomes because that's what it means. And then, of course, we need to output this. And we're simply going to put average. Okay, there we go. So what we can do now is we can run this. I have a set of test data to make sure that it comes out correctly. So we compiled it. Let's go ahead and let's run it. So here's my average testing. Going to go ahead and run the main method here. So inner score one. Okay, for our test data, to make sure it's working, our test uh, data should come out to 70 point, a bunch of sixes followed by a seven. So the test data, 67, 54, and 91. And it comes out to 70.0. That is a problem because even though, yes, we have double, which handles a decimal, Java has politely put a point zero, but it has made it an integer, a whole number with point zero. That is a problem. So how do we fix that? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and clear this console because we're going to need to test it again. So let's go back into our code. And I said we're going to learn about casting. So what that means is we want it to, we want this formula, this, this sum and dividing by three, we want it to result into a double so we can see those parentheses, so we can see the places after the decimal. Just because we have the data type double average or the average variable is a data type double doesn't mean it's going to convert it into what it should be. So we have to cast to that. So here is all we do. In front of this right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to open my parentheses, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to tell Java, okay, this is what I want it to be. I want the result of this to be double. Now, because we've done that and we've told Java, okay, we're casting, we want it to be in the data uh, type of double, it will then convert it correctly. So let's go ahead, compile, we have no errors, perfect. Let's run it again and see what happens now that we have done casting. So we're gonna go ahead and run it just like we did, and we're gonna use the same scores. The reason I cleared the console is so we don't have a bunch of stuff to look at uh, previously. That's why I cleared it 67, 54, 91, and if we are correct, it should come out to 70 point, followed by a bunch of sixes, and then a seven, and because we casted right here, we have the correct answer. And that is the correct answer, and the reason we are able to get the correct answer is not only because we have the correct data type for average, which was double, which is if you've programmed in other uh, programming, you may have used decimal or real. Um, that allows us to have a real number. But just because we have this here doesn't automatically give us the right answer. We have to do what's called casting. And we simply do that by opening our parentheses saying, hey, what do we, what type of data type do we want to cast it to? And then that will allow us to see the actual answer. So we learned how to create some, uh, a new data type, such as double, which is a primitive data type. We'll talk more about that later. And we learned about casting and how to uh, get the average of three scores. Hope you found this video helpful. Join us in the next video as we continue learning Java.